Okay, physical properties and physical changes. So a physical property is a characteristic that can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the substance. So examples of physical properties be melting point and boiling point. Now, physical change is a change in a substance that does not involve a change in the identity of the substance. So the chemical makeup is not gonna change. Examples, grinding, cutting, melting, and boiling. Now, here's water in three phases here. Um, these are physical properties. So if we look here, we have a solid here. Once a solid goes to liquid, it melts. Okay, and we know solid from before, we have a definite shape and volume. And it's not easily compressed. So now we have a liquid here, and we know liquids we have an indefinite shape. Definite volume. And they're not easily compressed. And then a gas, it's an indefinite shape and volume. So when this liquid goes to a gas, it's gonna vaporize. We have an indefinite shape and volume. And then they're easily compressed. And then we talked about the fourth type at the beginning of the year that we said we'd get to, and we're just going to talk about it now. So plasma. It's a high temperature physical state of matter. In which atoms lose most of their electrons and we'll learn that electrons are particles that make up atoms. Okay, so so chemical properties and chemical changes. So a chemical property relates to a substance's ability to undergo changes that transform it into different substances. So a change in which one or more substances are converted into a different substance is called a chemical change or a chemical reaction. So, 
The reactants are the substances that are in a chemical chain, so they're to the left of the arrow. The products are the substance that are formed by the chemical chain, so they're to the right of the arrow. So here we see carbon plus oxygen yields, or forms, or you could say produces, carbon dioxide, which is our product. Okay, and there's a couple, there's some evidence to tell if you have a chemical changer. So the first one here, A, says when acetic acid and vinegar and sodium hydrogen carbonate or baking soda are mixed, the solution bubbles as carbon dioxide forms. So, first evidence. Bubbles forming. B is a solid precipitate forms. C, so when energy is released, as heat, you say or light, either or. And then the third or fourth one is a color change. So when you see one of those four, you usually have a chemical change. So now electrolysis of water. So water, H2O. So the breakdown of water will be H2 plus O2 back into its gaseous components. So a comparison of chemical or physical and chemical changes. So we see in the mercury two oxide, the physical changes would be bright red or orange red, colorless, crystalline solid, almost insoluble in water. Key word here for a chemical property, decomposes, very important. Now for oxygen, colorless, odorless, gas, soluble in water. Chemical properties supports combustion reacts with, and we can see the rest for mercury, right? Biggest thing here for chemical and physical change, physical change does not change the chemical composition of a substance, and a chemical change changes the chemical composition of a substance.